let's take this daily challenge problem and uh, it's quite easy to analyze because you see that uh, in this case mod z is given to be 1 so we can start by taking z to be e to the power i theta so we can see that fz is nothing but modulus of e to the power 3i theta minus e to the power i theta plus 2 and as you know e to the power 3i theta is nothing but cos 3 theta plus i sine 3 theta and e to the power i theta is cos theta plus i sine theta so we can easily write down this complex number as a plus ib format So the real part will come out to be cos 3 theta minus cos theta plus 2 and the imaginary part will come out to be sine 3 theta minus sine theta. So uh, since we are calculating the magnitude of the complex number, okay, mod of this whole complex number, so we can use the modulus formula to get the value of suppose fz square. So fz square will come out to be cos 3 theta minus cos theta plus 2 whole square plus uh, sine 3 theta minus sine theta whole square so this is going to be fz square and on simplification this will give you 6 minus 2 cos 3 theta cos theta minus 2 sine 3 theta sine theta minus 4 cos theta plus 4 cos 3 theta now we can see that cos 3 theta cos theta and sine 3 theta sine theta they can be clubbed uh, according to the compound angle formula to give us cos 2 theta because uh, this is becoming cos a cos b plus sine a sine b which is cos a minus b so minus 2 cos uh, 2 theta minus 4 cos theta plus 4 cos 3 theta now this entire function fz square can be expressed as a function of cos theta because you see that cos 2 theta can be written as cos theta because cos 2 theta is 2 cos square theta minus 1 minus cos theta plus cos 3 theta is nothing but 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. So we can take this function fz square right fz square is uh, nothing but let us take this function fz square to be a function of cos theta so let cos theta equal to t so if you let cos theta equal to t then i am taking this function to be g of t okay because it will be a function of theta cos theta so g of t can be written to be 16 t cube minus 4 t square minus 16 t plus 8 this is becoming the function of cos theta and now we can apply the concept of maxima and minima for this particular function gt so we can go for the derivative of the function g dash t and that g dash t is coming out to be 48 t square minus 8 t minus 16 so that is nothing but 8 into 6 t square minus t minus 2 and uh, we can easily find out the critical points for the function by factorizing the derivative so it will come out to be so these are the two factors you can see 2 t plus 1 into 3 t minus 2 so uh, this is the um, derivative g dash t now for getting the maximum or the minimum value of gt now the question says that we need to basically find the maximum value of the function so to get the maximum value of the function gt so the derivative should change its sign from positive to negative so if we find out the wavy curve of this derivative the wavy curve of this derivative will become uh, like the changing point of the critical points are 2 by 3 and uh, minus half and the wavy curve will be something like this so positive negative positive so we can easily see that at t equal to minus half 
the derivative value is changing from positive to negative. The derivative value is changing from positive to negative means there is a local maxima for the function g t. So we can write down the local maximum value of g. So we can say that the g max value is going to be uh, the value at t equal to minus half. So g max value will come out to be substituting t equal to minus half in the function. Let's see what happens. It is going to be 4 into 1 by 4 uh, minus 16 into minus half and uh, plus 8. So we'll get the value to be 16 minus 3, so 13. So maximum value of g is coming out to be 13 where the function is achieving local maximum. So our answer is going to be fz square maximum is equal to 13. So this implies that the maximum value of the function f max is going to be root 13. So this will be the answer.